everyone, it's Dr. Michael here. Coming to you today to talk a little bit about restless leg syndrome and Parkinson's disease. You may have heard of restless leg syndrome, may not know what it is yet. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a brief summary of what it is. Basically, restless legs is where a person kind of feels that kind of a creepy, crawly, uncomfortable feeling in the legs, especially when trying to fall asleep at night. That's typically when it's most common. And RLS is typically relieved by movement. So moving the legs or getting up and walking around doing something can typically relieve those symptoms. RLS is one of the associated non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease in many cases, and that may be something you did not know even if you had heard of RLS before. So what I wanted to do was to tell you a little bit about RLS as it relates to PD and um, a little bit of as many facts as I can share with you in, in a short period of time. I guess the, the summary question would be is does Parkinson's make it more likely that you're going to become a person with RLS? <clears throat> and the answer is it depends or maybe. Um, the really studies are not conclusive as to whether the two are directly related. Um, it can be said that it there might be a trend where people in PD tend to have it more often than the general population. That doesn't mean that the two are, are correlated or directly linked, but it does seem like people with Parkinson's have it more often than people that don't have Parkinson's disease. And that's literally about all the information there is in research on that topic. The one thing that's also interesting though to note is that dopamine agonists, levodopa, gabapentin, gabapentin and a, and a carbil and pregabalin. I'm reading a list of those because I don't have those memorized. But basically, dopamine agonists and medications like L-dopa or levodo carbidopa levodopa um, can be tried to relieve RLS symptoms and sometimes do. But there's no guarantee of that. There are other medications out there that do treat RLS that can be taken in conjunction with PD medications. Um, but potential side effects could happen, and so that's something that you want to proceed with caution uh, on and discuss that with your movement disorder specialist if you have one. Um, and uh, there's another video I cut where I covered uh, movement disorder specialist and why that's important. If you have Parkinson's, I'm going to link that up here. Um, but anyway, basically sleep disorders of all kinds are very common with PD, and RLS is, happens to be one of them. Um, they can often interfere with getting restful sleep, and sleep has a major impact on everyday life, especially with Parkinson's, because it causes more stress, which can lead to more issues with your Parkinson's symptoms. So get that taken care of um, as much as pot you can possibly do. Uh, again, discuss it with your neurologist or movement disorder specialist if you have one. Um, and try to get that managed as best you can just so that you can get your sleep um, to where it is helping you out the most. Um, again, to summarize what we just talked about, restless leg syndrome, feeling of restlessness, typically in the evening hours, it's in the legs and it kind of is a creepy crawly feeling, you gotta get, you wanna get rid of it. Parkinson's disease does not necessarily cause RLS, but it seems like it's more common in PD than the general population and they can be related, although there's no direct ties in research that connect the two. Uh, some medications that can treat Parkinson's symptoms can also relieve RLS symptoms, um, and sleep disorders, especially RLS and things like that, can disorder, disturb sleep and can make stress increase and can make your Parkinson's symptoms worse, so discuss that with your doctor, uh, your neurologist, your MDS, and uh, that's about it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that you found this helpful. I'm going to link in the description an article uh, that discusses this at length uh, from Dr. Rebecca Gilbert from American Parkinson's Disease Association. I think you'll find it informative and interesting and uh, she explains things quite eloquently and in a, a pretty compact article, so I think you'll enjoy that. I'll catch you next time. As always, be empowered.